Hello everyone, in this video I will explain and summarize the explainable artificial intelligence, in other words, XAI. Firstly, I will explain the problem, then three major questions. What? You will understand what XAI is and why it is important and needed and how it can be implemented. Before the problem, let's remember the story. Today, artificial intelligence is quite successful, actually for a while, and in 1997, IBM's Deep Blue won the chess match against world champion Kasparov, an important victory of AI against human. Another game, more advanced one, strategy game Go, uh, in 2016 DeepMind's AlphaGo won the match against world champion Go player Lee Sedol. So we can easily say you can trust AI based players in any game. They will be undefeated after a well designed training process. Actually AI is more successful than human in general, not only in games but also in more vital fields and problems such as medical, finance, security, etc. For example, in 2018, AI defeated top doctors in a competition. Task was disease diagnosis, brain tumors diagnosis, and the results were interesting because AI's accuracy was 87% and they completed the task in 15 minutes. However, doctors' team's accuracy was 66% and they completed the task in 30 minutes. So AI was faster and more successful. But the important question, also the question of all this presentation and the reason of the, our problem, can we trust AI even though it's high performance measure scores? Uh, how can we trust AI in vital issues like disease diagnosis or fraud detection in finance or in decision mechanisms in general? To trust, we need to know what's going on in AI's decision process. However, the problem is, current AI models, machine learning, especially deep learning models, are black boxes even for data scientists or machine learning engineers, for their creators. We don't know exactly why AI choose this or decide like that, so this is quite problematic. Let's think another analogy, swimming in the lake. So before swimming in the lake, we should see under the surface as human. More clear water means uh, more trustworthy, because we can see if there is something dangerous or how deep so as human, we cannot trust unknown, uh, dark, uh, uncertain water. So even though it is too secure and safe to swim in the lake, we cannot trust. We need to know and understand the AI systems also. But the problem is current models, systems, are not explainable, interpretable. Uh, that's why explainable AI concept is proposed. Especially in production, we need explainable AI. Okay, we understand the problem simply, and now let's look at what is explainable AI. What is explainability in AI context? First of all, let's look at some definitions. According to IBM, explainable AI is a set of process and methods that allows human users to comprehend and trust the results and output created by machine learning algorithms. So focus on the keywords, here comprehend and trust. A second definition from Google Cloud, and according to them, Explainable AI is a set of tools and frameworks to help you understand and interpret predictions made by your machine learning models. And the third and the last definition from DARPA, Explainable AI is techniques that enable human users to understand, appropriate the trust, and effectively manage the emerging generation of artificial intelligent partners. So, similar definitions, and if you look at the keywords, we can use uh, or develop some tools, frameworks, design processes, methods or techniques. As you see, this part is quite broad. To make the artificial intelligence understandable, interpretable, comprehensible, trustable, and manageable. In other words, explainable. Here, I want to mention something about the history of explainable AI and the main conflict, because this is also important. Even though uh, explainable AI uh, popularity increased in recent years, actually the idea of interpreting the AI system was introduced in 1993 by Swarthout and Moore in their prototype uh, nearly 30 years ago. And the phrase, explainable AI phrase, was also suggested by one land and other uh, authors in, the, uh, in 2004, so nearly 20 years ago. So even though it has 20, 30 years history, Explainable AI become popular in recent years because after the increase in data and computational power, machine learning products, projects, 
emerge dramatically. Now we can see so many machine learning based and supported system. They are in everywhere. This also triggered the discussions about the importance and necessity of explainability in the AI context. Especially with ethical concerns and legislations, now explainable AI is more popular and so many researchers and developers started to study on this topic. But here, there is an important conflict point. We should make the AI explainable while we keep its high performance. This is quite important. Now let's look at the conceptual diagrams of AI and explainable AI so we can see the difference. The first one, this is a standard conceptual diagram of AI. We have some data, as training and testing. So after some learning process, our model can generate an output for new inputs. For example, it can be image classification model and when you upload or submit some new image of a cat, for example, it should classify as cat. It should provide an output as cat to the user. However, user doesn't know why this is output, why this output, why not dog, how model derived this conclusion. On the other hand, in explainable AI, there is another a proxy interface between the machine learning model and the user which explains the reason of this conclusion why not others okay we saw what explainable AI is now let's look at why is explainable AI important and needed also blind trusting the results of AI is like a diving headfirst to duck lake without knowing or seeing under the surface. It's very dangerous and it may cause some very harmful consequences. So today AI is in the production of various fields such as healthcare, credit scoring, loan acceptance, autonomous vehicles, fraud detection, recyclable object classification and more. And main concerns or main aspects that we should care are trustworthiness, fairness, responsibility, transparency and bias. I want to explain these aspects with some examples and spoiler all of them are AI failures and first one from Microsoft they developed a chatbot Trey and it produced racist tweets so data training data is vital element of AI models and if data has bias like in this example full of racist tweets then the chatbot can be racist Microsoft didn't want to develop some racist bot but lack of explainability of the AI also cause this problem. If it is explainable, then probably they can predict some possible harm and they can prevent it. The second one from Uber, self-driving car hit and killed a woman. So who is responsible? Why didn't the car detect the pedestrian? What is the reason? What is the reason of error? These are very important questions. And the third example from IBM Watson, actually they developed to diagnose some cancer, but results were not good. They used some synthetic data and this was not helpful for the doctors, so the project was not successful. In this example, we saw the importance of explainability of the data in AI. And the last example from Tesla, another car crash, but here Tesla blamed the user. So how can we rely on autopilot after this kind of crashes? How can we trust, or should we trust, or who is responsible? As you see, understanding the AI is crucial. It can affect human life in a tragic way. So with explainable AI, we can answer these questions. Why did AI decide in this direction? What can be possible risk in data and model? How can it be more fair, more responsible? How trustworthy is the AI? Or is the data and decision mechanism transparent? If not, why? What can be the potential bias in the data? Or how can the bias be mitigated? So these are quite important questions to answer. Okay, let's look at why explainable AI is beneficial for business. I summarized the main points based on McKinsey's report and these are efficient monitoring maintenance. Explainability quickly reveals error areas and technical teams can be better in troubleshooting uh, in fixing the problems. And second one, building trust for all stakeholders. Customers, developers, sales team, trust affects all stakeholders in a positive way. Number three, bidirectional interventions. So if we understand what affects AI decision mechanism, then we can produce solutions for that parameters. For example, if we understand risk is associated with certain interactions, then we can update our risk models based on these uh, results. That's why I called it bidirectional. And number four, understanding if AI meets expectations of business. Technical team and business team can understand each other better. Also business objective and AI's behavior can be analyzed together. And next one, mitigating risk. As you see in the examples, AI can be 
racist, then it can cause some reputational damage for the company or some regulatory issue to life. So risk teams can use the explanations of explainable AI. And the last one, complying with regulations and ethical principles. Similar like mitigating risks, legal teams can use the explanations to be compliant with regulations and also ethical principles. Now last section, uh, we learn what XAI is and why it is needed. Now I will explain how can we build or implement explainable AI. I used this paper for this section, Explainable Artificial Intelligence, a comprehensive review. By the way, all sources and links will be in the description part of the video. And uh, this paper was published in 2021. They provided a very good comprehensive review and I will not give all details of the implementation section so you can read if you are interested in. Basically, they categorize the implementation into three parts. Pre-modeling explainability, focus on data, and by using data processing techniques, get insights. Analyze, summarize, or transform the data. So you can use some visualization techniques. And second one is interpretable model. Actually, this is the hardest part. In most cases, uh, increasing the interpretability can decrease the performance of the model. So there is a trade-off here. The so model itself is important also. For example, if the model uses decision tree algorithm, then the representation of the model can be more understandable for humans. But if it is a deep neural network, for example, then understanding will be harder, maybe impossible for humans. And the last category is post-modeling explainability. Here we can use, again, some visualization or textual justification, simplification, or feature relevance techniques for existing black box machine learning models. Also, you can inspect uh, open source explainable AI examples, projects, to understand how part. That's all. This is a hot topic and you can find so many papers about it. This is just a summary. If you are interested in, there is a lot to read. Thank you for the watching.